Hey everyone, it's Kristen Burt with Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Beverly Hills for the 16th Annual Prism Awards, which honors the accurate depiction of social issues in TV and film. Let's see who walks down that yellow carpet. How are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. All right. Well, you are a winner tonight. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. How does that feel to be honored? Never been in a category with Sam Jackson before. That is the first. So I owe him one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is kind of odd. You're like, we were all in the same category together, right? Yeah. Very, very interesting. Very cool. Very, very thrilled. Yeah. Well, talk about your role and what you went for. Sure. Uh, I did a movie last year in Montreal called Cyberbully. It was an ABC family movie that was made for TV. Uh, we made it pretty much to raise awareness about a social issue that doesn't get enough light, doesn't get enough, doesn't get big enough of a voice. And uh, making this movie was sort of like the smallest step and hopefully just jump-starting some conversations at home with parents or teachers who say, hey, this is going on and I didn't know about it because I don't have whatever social media site, whatever. Uh, and it, hopefully it makes it a little easier for them to speak with their children or whoever. It's in every social setting, really. So cyberbullying is a big thing, especially this day and age, because technology and, and it's everywhere. It follows you everywhere. It's such a different world from the, the parents, you know, when they were growing up and, and right. your generation. I mean, right. Facebook and Twitter and everything else, it's amazing how many outlets people have to bully, not just on the playground. And, tell, and I have so many outlets to tell everyone I stole an award from Sam Jackson, so that's another thing. I'm no, I'm kidding. You can tweet that out. That's amazing. Uh, no, um, it is hard, and I feel like a lot of the times kids think they have some sort of like responsibility to be on those sites and you don't have to be you know you can I, take yourself off of them you can be, take off of them or just be nice on them too my kids won't even know what the internet is <laughs> so that's my plan you're pulling them off all together pulling them off. we're gonna live in the woods somewhere well i've got to know i mean you base you grew up on the disney channel so i mean how was that for you was it did you go to a, a regular school? Did you, or was it harder or easier being someone in the spotlight? It's interesting when we made this film. It started. I reflected a little bit more upon you know when I was in. I did. I went to a regular high school. I'm in college now, and it's so different now. I didn't have all those social sites, social media sites that I did in high school. That wasn't that wasn't such a big thing. Um, and I feel like now it is. And growing up in public eye was a little bit harder. And it made it easier not not having that availability. Just go on the internet and be like, oh, what's going on? Because you can, and it's easier now. And you could back then, too. But it's so funny, within like five years, how much everything changes. And you're like, I'm not that old. How did that I know. I'm, the, I'm in my 20s. And like, I can't, I can't believe how much everything's changed. But. It's unbelievable. And on a side note, have you seen uh, your former cast member, Anna Maria, in Godspell yet on Broadway? I have not. You need to go see her. She's good. I absolutely will. Yeah, she's on Broadway. Very cool. Last year. Good for her. Good job. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations Thank tonight. You, so much. you bet. Thank you.